You ask yourself, was this a good idea? The future of the entire project was now hanging on a prototype, and it had never been tested. It's the morning of February 26, 2003. Do or die day for the world's tallest bridge. Everything is about to be put to the test. The flexibility of the deck, the strength of the temporary piers, and critically, the pioneering hydraulic ram system. Even Buonamo, the man in charge of the launch, had his doubts. As it had never been done before, I have to tell you, I had fears that it wouldn't work. The pumps kick in, the pistons start to push, and the deck begins its huge journey across the valley. The moment I heard the motors start, I put my finger on the deck, and I could feel my finger move. Every four minutes, the deck advanced 600 millimeters across the valley. Surveyors tracked its progress. But it was still a nail-biting time as they watched the unsupported deck crossing the void. Eventually, the deck reached the safety of the first pier. 204 meters down, only 2,256 to go. The launching system seemed to be working as planned. The engineers were feeling optimistic. But as the deck advances into space, it'll become more vulnerable to the wind, which can reach 130 kilometers an hour. Unfortunately, the road deck has the shape of an upside down airplane wing, and the team's greatest fear is that this wing could simply take off. The engineers kept a close eye on the wind and weather conditions. When they were satisfied there was a three-day weather window and the wind wouldn't exceed 85 kilometers an hour, they'd give the construction team the go-ahead and the deck launch could continue. The reason for this precaution is simple. Strong winds can literally tear a bridge apart. In 1940, Washington State built a suspension bridge across the Tacoma Narrows in the U.S. Northwest. It opened with a grand ceremony on July the 1st. But the celebrations were short-lived. The bridge had a major problem 